time you were here, uh, Steve and I were at a coffee shop takeover. We weren't here, but we heard so many great things. Everybody loved you. They yeah. loved yeah. you. I appreciate that. All right, so don't blow it this time. <laughs> It's a morning. Okay. I won't. Right. I promise. Okay. You're over there. There she is. Okay. All right. Uh, Breezy is with us. And just because her character, uh, Frida Gatz, shot Jamal at the end of the last season doesn't mean that she's not going to. Uh, doesn't mean she's not going to have a big role to play this season. Yes. So here's Breezy with co star Jesse Smollett. Can't nobody tell me what to do, tell me what to do, can't nobody, uh, uh everything I do is me, what you mean? We gon' keep it 100 a be No stranger to struggling, making something out of nothing, yeah. Uh, yeah, for nothing is something, I do uh, it, yeah. I want it, I get it, so I'm getting to it. Doing my own thing, came this far, it saw me, doing what I do. I gotta do yeah. my own thing. All right, we're giving nothing away with that because that was last season. Yeah. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Yeah. How, first of all, hi. How, How are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad good. we're here. Yeah. yeah. You know what's so nice to have you watch yourself and smile and know that it's taken so much hard work to get to this point. Yeah. It's it nice has. to see that reaction. It has. Yeah. It has. So but I think I've seen a lot of growth in it. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. So I know you covered this last time you were here, but mm -hmm. for us, it's all new. Mm -hmm. You grew up in a family of barbers, essentially, yeah, but you're the I first did. female barber to carry on yes. the tradition. So yes. he, there you are in Atlanta, originally mm -hmm. from Philly, mm -hmm. cutting hair of some really famous people. Right. But you never once gave out your tape and said, hey, uh, you know, here's my stuff. Check it out. Let me I know. I didn't. You didn't. And it was because, honestly, like I had been around, you know, these particular people for so long, and I seen the me's of the world come and go you know and it's like those are the people they kind of didn't like to really see coming because it's you know when you're off of work you're off yeah you know what you know you know you look like you're 12 and you open <laughs> that voice of yours and everybody stops right yeah they said this is not the voice we expect right and this voice has really worked for you hasn't it it does and it's, it's surprising because growing up as a young girl i was i had the deeper voice and most girls are <laughs> and I'm like, hello. I would love to have your voice. Do you want to trade voices? <laughs> uh, but now I think, you know, I've never heard so much of, you know, how, how great of a tone yeah. it is and how much it carries. So, oh, so you, you I'm just embracing it now. You didn't know it was a gift then? No, kid, I no. didn't. You didn't like it? Yeah. I didn't, it was just different, you yeah. know, just being around so many girls and I sound like my brother. Oh. My mom's I'm, like, I'm not even kidding. I would do anything to have your voice. <laughs> really? Let's switch. Yeah, for nice. sure. How would you like to be your brother and have a high voice? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. All right, so how did uh, how'd you end up on Empire? Um, I just, I actually auditioned, you know, just like everyone else. Yeah. It just so happened I got a phone call about the audition because it wasn't anything I was looking for in particular. Um, and I went, I auditioned for Leah Daniels, who's uh, Leah, Lee Daniels' uh, sister, mm -hmm. and does okay. the casting for our show. And um, the, the main requirement was that they wanted the actor or actress to yeah. be able to write and, you know, perform their music. So perfect. I felt like with that part, we knocked that out, yeah. and then the acting. Yeah. We can't, we Did they need somebody who could cut hair as well? To <laughs> save on the budget. They didn't. That part just happened. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just happened. So a lot of people thought, you know, given the story of my real life, that yeah. it that, was it, it was it was totally a total coincidence. coincidence huh? Yeah. Wow. Well, now maybe on set, people are like, "Hey, Breezy, do you have a second? You know, yeah. Well, I've cut hair on set. Have I mean, you? because yeah, I mean, I've had people come to set and Terrence Howard. Yeah. No, I've never cut it. <laughs> All right, so Empire has, not only is it a big hit, it's also kind of like a, a, a sociological hit. It cuts yeah. across mm -hmm. a lot of barriers that have existed in TV before. Mm -hmm. In your own life, how has it changed things? Um, it, it, it's kind of just placed the attention on what that actual character is going through. Because like I said, our show displays so many walk, walks of life. And, you know, we're able to really just depict reality yeah. on national television, which certain topics are kind of left alone. So with me, it just it gives me that ability, that platform to be able to display, you know, how I may feel about certain situations or, you know, talk to young girls that might be in similar situations. Mm -hmm. um, just overall just brought a lot of awareness. Um, so your name it's kind of funny how you got your name. Tell us yeah. the story. Um, my grandmother, who is my heart, uh, as I was born, I was in the delivery room yeah. and I was just screaming and crying and no one could understand why. 
So they're trying everything, milk, oh, she's, she's, uh, she, you know, she's sleepy, trying to put her to sleep. Yeah. And uh, my grandmother just got up and shut the windows because there was a breeze blowing in and out. And she played with the window a bit, like, and every time that wind came in, I would scream huh. and holler. And <laughs> she, so, so, you know, <laughs> she's, she's called me breezy ever since. And, and, and I'm, I'm still the same as an adult. I don't like. You don't like the wind? No. Okay. So, we so you were cold. That's why you were crying. I was cold. Yeah. yeah. And I'm always freezing. Your kid has something like that. <laughs> has something oh, like that. That's well, called something. You know what I'm talking about? My kid <laughs> is already such a little princess. If I'm hold, she likes to be held upright. Mm -hmm. And God forbid I'm sitting and holding her upright. I have to stand up. I don't know how she knows the difference, but if I stand up, she, she stops crying. Like she wants you working. Your chest. Yeah. It's I don't curve. know. She doesn't so. like that. Well, you might. You probably have the answer. Yeah, I maybe do. You, you do. think it's a control yeah. thing? I with thought it was a control yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, Empire. So nice uh, to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Here's Wednesday night, nine o'clock here on Fox. Come back and see us again, okay? I'll be back You're tomorrow. Okay. Breezy, nice to come back you. tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, still to come. Oh, the booty belt. You're workout. probably jealous that you're not in the booty belt segment. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have you a booty. Not too well, much. that's the whole thing. You gotta oh, to get one. Yeah, to get one. Is that what it, oh, it's not the loser booty. No, it's the other no, booty. you gotta work it. Okay. I think um, we should get belts. <laughs> I don't have a booty either. So. <laughs> we should get belts. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Hold on. Like it. Maybe we'll put up. you in it.